Good morning, grade twos, and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud. I hope you've had a lovely morning this morning and that you are ready to learn with me today. If you have any questions throughout the lesson or after it, you can always ask mommy or daddy to send an email to grade two at worksheetcloud.com and we will try and answer your questions as soon as possible. So if this is your first time that you are watching a lesson, my name is Teacher Taryn and we are going to do Grade 2 Maths together today. And we are going to learn all about groups of two. So what do you need for this lesson? You are going to need either pegs, clothing pegs from the washing line, or pencils, or crayons, or blocks, or anything that you can count. And you need 10 of the same item. So 10 of whatever you can count. So let's count together. Once you've got your counters, you can just put them to the side. We don't need them yet. And we're going to count together in twos. So here you can see that two is already highlighted. And if I add two or I count forwards in two, let's see where do we land up. We land on four and then six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. And well done, grade twos, because if I count in two, remember we always end either on a two, or on a four, or on a six, or on an eight, or on the zeros, because that is the pattern when I count in twos, because these are all our even numbers. So now let's meet my friend over here. His name is Daniel. And Daniel's teacher asked him that he needed to count in twos. And he needed to make groups of two. So he's got some pegs. So now you need either your pegs or your pencils or your blocks or anything that you can count. And we are going to work with Daniel because he's struggling. He doesn't really remember how to do this. So there are Daniel's pegs. And he's packed them out in front of them like you are going to do now. So he's packed out some of his pegs in front of him. And let's quickly see how many pegs you need to pack out. And while I count, pack out your counters in front of you like this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he has eight pegs in front of him. So you need to pack out eight counters in front of you. Your counters need to be in groups like this. He's got two next to each other and then a little space and two, a little space and two, and a little space and two. Because that's important when we're going to make groups of two. So can you see that he has made two, a group of here of two pegs and he has another group of two pegs? and another group of two pigs, and another group of two pigs. So all in total, he has four groups. So group your counters like this quickly, so that you have four groups in front of you. And you have a group of two. And every time you see a green circle like that, that is where I have made a group. So now that we know that we have two in each group, I don't have to count every single peg anymore. I can now count in twos because I know every time I see a circle, there will be two items or two pegs. So let's count. Two, four, six, eight. So yes, we do have eight pegs, but we counted in twos. So what did we do? We said two, plus two, plus two, plus two, and that is also eight. Okay, so now we're going to make a different grouping. So now you need one, two, three, four pigs in front of you. So now Daniel is going to now make groups of his pigs, and he's going to make either a circle, which is going to put his counters together, He's using pegs, you can use anything to count. And then over here, another group of two. 
So now we're going to count in twos. So we've got two, four. And what did we do when we added them all together? We said we had two plus two. So now let's have a look at this. Quite a lot of pegs here in front of Daniel. And he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. He has ten pegs in front of him. And now he's going to put them into groups of two. So he's going to put two together and two together, another two, another two, and another two. And let's quickly see how many groups he has. He has one, two, three, four, five groups. And inside each group, there were two pegs. So we've got five groups. But let's count in twos to see if we get there quicker. We can count two, four, six, eight, ten. And earlier we said there were ten pegs. So how do we add them if we add all our twos? So two plus two plus two plus two plus two is also ten. But this takes a very long time. So now we are going to learn about why we make groups of two and how that could make it a bit quicker for us. So we are going to pack out six pigs in front of us. And Daniel is doing this as well. He's packed out his six pegs and he's going to put them into groups. And inside each group, remember we said we're making groups of two. So in this group we have two, in this group we have two, and this group we have two. And this is quick. If I ask you how many groups do we have, how many green circles are there, we've got three groups. Now we're going to count in twos. We're going to add them, 2 plus 2 plus 2. Now we're going to count in twos, 2, 4, 6. And we said we've got three groups. And how much is inside each group? We've got two pegs. So we can write it like this, three groups of two. But then Daniel's teacher told him something very exciting because groups of is actually a different sign. Like we get a plus sign, we get a minus sign, and we are now going to learn about our times sign. Now the big name for this is multiplication. We multiply. But we can say three times, instead of writing groups of, we can say three times Two, because we wrote the number two three times. So we can say three times two. And the answer to all of these different ways of writing it is six. But instead of saying two plus two plus two, we can say three groups of two is six. Or three times two is six. So now Daniel felt very chuffed with himself because he's now understanding these groups of two. And he thought, if I sit in my garden, maybe I'll see other things in my garden that are also in groups of two. So while he was sitting, he saw some butterflies and they flew into the garden. And he wondered, if I look at a butterfly, what about a butterfly is there two of? This butterfly has two wings, and this butterfly has two wings, and this butterfly has two wings. And Daniel wondered to himself, how many wings would three butterflies have? So here are our three butterflies, and this butterfly would have two wings. And we can say this butterfly also has two wings, and we plus two. And we can say that this butterfly has two wings, so we plus another two. And we know that that is six. So we can say two plus two plus two. Or we could count one, two, three, four, five, six. And that goes quickly now, but what if we had 
10 butterflies or if we had 20 butterflies. So let's make a quick plan. This butterfly, we can make a group. And here we can make another group. And here we can make another group. And inside each group, there will be two wings. So we can say that we can count in twos. Two, four, six. But if I had to write that down as a sum, I'm going to say that there are three groups of two. Three groups, and each group has two inside. And remember, we learned that groups of is our new sign. We can say times. Three times two is six. And that would be a lot quicker than saying two plus two plus two. So now Daniel felt quite chuffed and he thought, what else can I see in the garden that has groups of two? And he saw four little flowers and they've got two leaves on each flower. And he wondered, how many leaves would there be on four flowers? So here are the four flowers. We can say that each flower has two leaves. So we can say two plus two, plus two, plus two, and that would give me eight. But I can take a shortcut and I can make groups. And inside each group, there are two leaves. And how many groups do I have? One, two, three, four. So we're going to count in twos, two, four, six, eight and we can get to the eight leaves but if we have four groups of two four groups of two would give me four times two is eight and four times two is much quicker than saying two plus two plus two plus two let's quickly remember where does that Four come from? There were four groups. We wrote the number two four times. Now, after Daniel had done all of this practicing, his friends were wondering, but what are you doing in your garden all day, Daniel? You were supposed to be practicing mats. And he said to them, I have been practicing my mats. I've just been looking for things around me. And they wondered, but Daniel, can you show us what you've been doing? And he thought, if every child in the garden is wearing two shoes, he's going to show his friends his quick way to find out how many shoes there would be if there were five children and each child is wearing two shoes. So, there are five children in the garden. How many shoes are there? So there's a left and a right for every child. And here we've got a left and a right for the second child, for the third child, for the fourth child, and for the fifth child. Because there were four friends and Daniel, he's the fifth one. So we can say two plus two plus two plus two plus two, plus two, plus two and that gives me ten. But Daniel wanted to show his friends the shortcut and he says, that if I make groups where I see that there are two, I can count in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And that could be quicker. So how many groups do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five. So five groups. And in each group, there are two shoes, so five groups of two. And I can now write it as my time sum. Five times two is ten. And Daniel's friends were very impressed, and they decided they are going to practice in the same way. So grade twos, you've been very clever today, and hopefully this afternoon you can go and have a look and see, maybe there are some things around your house that have groups of two 
then you can practice your time sums and you make groups and say your groups times two and then see the answer. You can even look at mommy and daddy or your brothers and sisters and you can see how many hands would there be in the house because each person would have two hands or how many eyes would there be in the house or how many ears would there be in the house or anything that there are two of. So, thank you for watching Grade Twos and I hope you've had fun today learning about groups of two and this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Until the next time I see you, goodbye.